plumberparts.co.uk. Honest reviews and advice. Hello and welcome to today's plumberparts.co.uk video. Whee! That is a customer's cat. It's tiny, a little kitten. I don't know, who's a baby. This video is going to be all about how to fit an outside tap. There's a couple of ways you can do it because there's two types of kits. There's also a kit you can get where everything comes in one massive piece. Uh, you have like a hose, you have a check valve and all those bits and bobs on it. We're not going to do it like that, we can do it properly. With hard pipe, we can do some soldering. It's going to be bloody great. I'm sorry we haven't uploaded in a while. The main issue is, is that I've been on a, well, my stag do. We went to Berlin and it was crazy. <laughs> That's all I can say. It was four nights, four nights? Three nights, I think, of carnage. So back now, um, it is gonna be slow for the next couple of months because marriage, one or two holidays book, bits and bobs, so bear with us. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you love it. I'm gonna take this off because apparently summer is here. The summer of love. Remember, to hold tight. So, once you've chosen the position for your outside tap, we're gonna try and get it about here. So it's directly under this middle spine of this window. Now, it's always easier if you can try and put your tap underneath the kitchen sink outside because you've got your cold feed out there already. Um, a couple of things you need to think about is you probably don't want to be feeding the outside um, with a softened water supply because you'll be paying for softened water to go outside onto your grass. A bit dumb. And also when buying the tap, if your bib tap you buy doesn't have a built-in check valve, that's a non-return valve, you'll have to buy a non-return valve separately because you cannot have the possibility of water going back into the mains from any outside tap. So uh, I've chosen where I'm going to put it, I am now going to punch a hole through the wall and we're actually going to feed the tap through and fix it to the wall and then I'll show you how to do the connections up on the other side. Boom! Right, so the particular outside tap pack we've got today is one like this. That means you can just push it straight into the wall. Obviously, a lot of the time you'll have bib tap. They have an angled upward inch and a half female plate that you actually screw into the wall and then you have to screw it in. So that means sometimes you have a bit of 15 mil, a 15 mil elbow coming up and then going into that plate. Um, but these are slightly simpler, a bit easier to do. Um, so it's a matter of pushing it in the hole now, marking our three holes, drilling them and getting them plugged. Little tip before you do that, just pop some tape over the end to stop any debris getting inside your pipe. <clears throat> Drill and plug. And once we've got our plugs in, just grab yourself a little bit of silicon, pop that in here around this. So then if you do get any rain or anything like that, it doesn't get into your hole and get all over the place. Yeah, pops on beautiful like that. That'll stop any water getting in. Right, now tighten up your three screws, nice and tight. Right, once this is all in, nicely done up and you've smoothed off the silicon around the bottom or around wherever it may spread out, don't use the PTFE they supply with the tap, okay, because it's poo. You want to use Loctite. This stuff's really good because you need this tap to stay upright and stable and Loctite not only seals the joint, but it actually creates a really tough, hard to move joint as well once it's in. So how you put that on, you just wrap it and you actually cross it over the threads like so. So you actually sort of go over the thread like that and then that gets that in. I just want to run that nicely into there. Apprentices always put too much on when they start using this stuff. All right, and then we just run it in, just start it off hand tight like that. It's already gone tight now. So what you want to do is get yourself, you might be able to get that up with your hands. It's always, I got a lot of time for that. So we've done outside now, we've got our tap in. Make sure that you turn it off and now we're gonna go inside and I'll show you how to do your connections up in there. <laughs> right now, so here we are under the sink. There's our pipe sticking out, as I'm sure you'd have guessed. Right, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put a little elbow on here. Our cold water is this pipe just down at the bottom here, so we just, tee, we just elbow down and tee into that cold pipe nice and easy. But along the way, going up, we need a valve that turns off the outside and also our check valve, our non-return valve. And we'll put them in like that on the way up. If you wanna learn more about check valves or anything like that, we do have a video on it. I'll leave a link to it at the end of this video. So I'm just gonna cut a very small piece. Pop that into there with that arrow pointing up. Pop that piece into there with that arrow pointing up, and then this arrow going in the same direction. Pop that on there, and I'm going to tighten these two up. Well. So now we've got our piece like that, and that will go in just in here, like so. Right, the next bit, 
cut off our pipe. Pop a little bit of flux around here and inside the elbow. Pop our elbow on just like that. Right, cut another short piece off. I'm just going to cut a slight amount. Right now, I'm just going to pop this clip off here, pull this bit of pipe out, and then we're going to cut a small segment of pipe out to take our T. Right, once we've got those lined up, just pop our pipe cutter in there. Cut out a small piece of pipe, slightly smaller than the width of the 15mm pipe that will go into the T. There's nothing I like more than working under sinks. It's like the best thing ever. <sighs> Massive hassle. Right, try to get out as much water out of these pipes as you can because it's very very difficult to solder pipe when there's water in there. Right, flux them up, push that all back together, get our bottom piece of pipe and flux that up, push this in and then mark where you need to cut that. Oh, bugger. Right and now we're ready to solder so get our heat mat as usual Nice, even heat, it's only 15 mils, so you don't have to go crackers. And solder up the top part. Right, now what we need to do is just let those two fittings cool down and then you'll be able to tighten up your bottom and your top nut. Well then we'll turn this valve off Turn the water back on and then we'll test for leaks. With any luck, you should all be done. Right, so the water's back on. I don't know if there's any leaks there. Right, so we're all finished. Let's see if the beast works. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's plumberparts.co.uk video. As I said, sorry we haven't been so regular of late. Um, you know, it's just how life is sometimes. If, if your missus says yes. I think that's the best way of putting it. Alright, so everyone, keep it real. Uh, we are still here for questions, okay? Always ask us questions, we do our best to speak to you. We do get loads a day at the moment though. I don't know why, it's sort of summertime, I'd expect to get less. Remember, follow us on Twitter and follow us on Facebook. Uh, we are here for love at all hours of the day. Apart from after sort of 11 o'clock at night and before 6.30 in the morning. Uh, the night parts when I'm a bub eyes, as my mum would say. Um, so I hope to see you guys in the next film, in the next video. Uh, remember you can subscribe, whichever side that is. Remember, you can subscribe, and also, people, remember to hold tight throughout the night. Boom! Plumberparts.co.uk Honest reviews and advice. You will see there's an arrow. That tells you which way this valve should go. So, inside, it moves one way or t'other. See that? If I blow with the arrow, it comes out. If I blow against it, yeah. Nothing comes out.